Hey guys, this is Fluff, and today I'm going to be bringing you a 6.88D current support guide. Uh, my tips and tricks for this patch. And the reason I felt I need to do this is because a lot of my videos are a bit outdated. I want to keep people up to date, make sure that they understand what's changed, what's the same. And yeah, uh, we're going to be talking about how to open, what items you're going to open with. Uh, we're going to talk about a laning trick, how to pull and zone during the first couple of waves. And then we're going to talk about which support heroes are good. And finally, what items are good on those heroes. I'll try to put in the timestamp down below in the comments, or in the description rather, where you can find each of those things if you're interested in one thing or another. But here we go. I'm just getting right into it. So first of all, when you, whenever you start a game as the support, you just buy chicken, obs, two obs, sentry, tango, and you can choose a bit. You can buy clarity or or TP, whatever you feel like. You want to pass off your items to. Oh, you're gonna want to pass off your items. Let's just do like easy heroes. Two tangos to mid, as usual. One op to your offlaner. The way I prefer to do it is give the op to the offlaner first. It's more urgent in case they want to TP or walk out to the lane. It's more urgent. Two tangos to the mid later and then just head head to your lane. So in every standard pub game you're probably going to want to just run straight out to your lane as soon as possible. I mean there's a bit of delay there because I have to create heroes but Realistically, I give them the op to Tangos and I'm running to the lane. The reason why you want to run out as soon as possible is just because there's a chance that you'll catch the offlaner placing a ward. Like you're going to run into each other or you're going to have vision of him, so you can kind of estimate where you need to put your sentry down. And a lot of times, uh, people will choose to forego the clarity and buy a TP and just come out to the lane, drop an op somewhere. That works as well. Personally, I don't feel like in pubs, people really. Like, uh, care too much to TP or do advanced things like that, so I just walk and have an extra clarity, it's nice. So, you're gonna secure the rune, and then what I do is I walk out, I let my carry block here, and I walk out to the off lane, and I make sure to catch the range creep in case that the off laner is trying to get an advantage with the creep equilibrium. By catching the range creep, what you do is that you allow the wave to progress normally if the range creep goes first and it dies instantly then the wave will push forward in this example what I always do is I will check this camp if it's blocked then I'll have to deward it but um, most times it's not so what I'll do is I'll push the lane or I'll tell my carry like hey can you push the lane out I'm gonna pull the side camp uh, by going there and auto attacking you kinda help it push as well but if you tell your carry and he says like oh I don't need to then just go ahead and do this. You want to pull. The reason why you pull this camp at 53 is because it's going to double stack while pulling. And it's going to go ahead and create a camp. And right here, I, I recommend auto attacking or kind of using spells to get last hits. And uh, I'm missing that one there, but ideally you get extra gold. And if you can, try to finish off one of the big creeps because you're going to get a lot of EXP. It didn't work out ideally here, but us usually I kill one of the big creeps. I'm kind of having to use mana here, but it's really whatever. That was a bit of misplay, but you know what I mean? It's That's a general idea. I'm not trying to play perfectly. I'm just trying to show you. So again, you can... If it's all everything is perfect, you can go ahead and keep pushing this lane out. And what you want to do is just keep pulling this at the 53 mark. And by doing this... You're really maximizing the EXP gain and the denial from the offlaner. So the reason why this didn't pull is because the carry is not here. And there's like nothing going on in the lane. It's just me. But realistically your carry is pushing this out as well. And you can go ahead and clear this camp. Like this Welkin, I'd kill this. I'll get fast levels. It'll deny creeps from the opponent. And my carry will get levels. Another thing that you'd want to do as well is just pick up a TP as soon as possible. Sometimes after I catch the wave here I just go ahead and buy a TP. You never know 
when you need to use that, like if there's an early ganker rotation on mid. And pretty much it, after you get a couple of levels and you get a feel for the lane, like whether the offlaner is zoned or if you get enough levels to, you know, make some moves on the map or your carry is self-sufficient, then you can go ahead and start moving around the map. A lot of, in this patch, a lot of times the carries are able to win the lanes by themselves after they get a head start. And by pulling that creep wave, not only are you denying XP, but you're also getting more XP for your side, not not sharing with your carry. And it's also kind of better than pulling the small camp because you're able to uh, deny the offlaner from pulling this as well. So it kind of works really well. In the in the um, first minute, it's especially good. All right. So now that we've done the opening and we've done the pull, I want to talk about some of the support picks. So right currently in this patch, Oracle and Shadow Demon are great all around. Both of these heroes have really good defensive capabilities and they also provide pretty good damage as well as zoning really well. So these are definitely the ones that I would recommend. And then secondly, in tier 2 or situational heroes I would say Dazzle, Venge, and uh, maybe Wyvern. Or to, yeah, Wyvern. Let's just say Wyvern for now. These are all defensive heroes. Alright, well that killed my Wyvern but it doesn't really matter. So Wyvern, Wyvern you mostly want to pick that versus like high physical damage. His main drawback as a support um, defensively is that uh, magic can still burst through his cold embrace so you have to keep that in mind when you're drafting that hero. I would say Dazzle is probably the most um, preferable tier 2 support just because he can fit in a variety of situations. His, his zoning is quite good, his skills are strong. He's got a heal and grave, and basically, he's going to be an all-around tier two pick. But SD and Oracle will probably be a step above, just because of the utility that they bring to the team. And then the la the second support I would say is uh, Venge. I like Venge a lot because right now you see a lot of voids and bats, and Venge is really good at counter initiating those heroes. So. If you can get away with Venge in lane, it's definitely a good situational pick. The main drawback is that her zoning is quite weak. She has low range, low armor, her mana costs are pretty high. And yeah, just overall she'll be a great pick for the game, but you really have to think about is is this support going to be too weak for lane? And then yeah, there was just Wyvern, we already kind of talked about that. Okay, so I guess quick notes. On each hero. Well, actually, we don't need to do that. I kind of did that. Alright, anyway. Item builds. So, playing Dota um, in this patch as a support is a little bit different because there are way more items available to you that are extremely good. The f basically, Raindrop, once it's. This item is it's extremely strong and. It basically takes up my magic stick slot that I'd normally have in any other patch. I feel like it's a way better investment because it'll help you from getting ganked or taking too much damage and surviving in fights. It also provides a little bit of extra regen. That's ex that's really, really nice and helpful throughout the game. And then I'll go ahead and explain why I don't buy bag. stick anymore. So when you have... If you think about your stick slot inventory you're gonna have boots smoke tp you're gonna have an aub and sentry slot and then you're gonna have your primary slot so let's say that i bought a stick like i'm in eventually just gonna end up selling this because the way i see it is you should pretty much have a smoke on you at all times so that you can make a play instead of having to like go like hey oh can we smoke here and then you like drag it out from the courier it's just too efficient better to be ready on the spot and catch your opponents off guard so I personally don't pick up stick and I go for a bigger item like force staff or glimmer cape both of the items give you a pretty good 
options for being defensive and bailing your your cores out of the fights. It's really important to go for these items and not uh, waste too much gold. So in pubs, you might end up having a lot more gold. Like you feel that you can pick up more luxury items like urns and arcanes and stuff. You can definitely do that in your pubs. I'm not saying not to, but in a competitive game, a lot of times you have to make the best of your gold. So a lot of times uh, pros, or at least in my personal opinion, it's good to pick up a big item like this instead of wasting money on upgrading like random things first because it's going to have a huge impact. The other thing that I'd possibly do as well is I'd pick up an urn first. I think that's totally acceptable. On heroes, uh, basically on Oracle only, I feel like he he's he has a mandatory arcane boots purchase just because he has all of his spells and then he can go for one of these. But uh, on on Venge, SD, Dazzle, Wyvern, you can pretty much rush these items here, the Force Death, the Glimmer. And then I'll usually pick up Urna after. It's either after or before, but recently I've been picking up after just because I felt like my in my personal experience I've needed it a lot less when I rushed it compared to these items and then picking up in the in the early mid game uh, where when big fights started happening I actually paid off a lot picking up the urn so that to me though these are the most important items for you and then after that you can pick up luxury occasionally in the super late game or not in the super late game but like in the mid game after I finish these items if I need move speed I'll just pick up tranquil boots like. It's weird to buy Tranquil Boots really late, but my thought process is that in the team fights, a lot of times the way you're positioning it and uh, like playing the game is that you'll, you'll need this move speed. And if you're staying back and you're in position, having upgrading this for you know the simple investment of the Ring of Regen and, and the Ring of Protection, it's actually a really big difference. So that's that's what I recommend. And after that, just you know. All the utility items and stuff like that but basically all i want to explain was that the raindrop is pretty important and I, I would recommend not picking up the stick just because raindrop takes that salt that stick normally would take and i feel that smoke's more important and personally from playing i really actually haven't missed it all too much because the raindrop is such an amazing item uh, when to stop using raindrop i would say after like one or two uh, you really don't want to be investing way too much too much gold in here. Uh, after you pick up one of these items, that's probably the time to stop. Or when you're starting to get near, like if you have like a thousand gold or something, you can pick up your staff of wizardry and get closer to your four staff. And you probably want to stop buying these raindrops because they cost way too much mana. But anyways, that's pretty much all I wanted to say for this patch. They may seem like minor things. They may seem small. But in Dota, and especially for support, these small things make a really big difference for you, for yourself and for the team. And I feel like uh, I've figured out something that works for me. It's You can definitely adapt and you know swap in things that you like, such as wind lace, or you could drop the smokes since pubs maybe aren't as coordinated and pick up the stick. You know, I don't know. That's up to you. But in general, these are the things that I recommend. These are the things that... I've been successful with and these are things that are up to date so thank you so much for watching this is uh, Fluff again make sure to follow this channel and subscribe on YouTube and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and then uh, follow me on Twitter as well if you tweet at me that's probably the best way to, to communicate with me I'll, I'm very responsive there at uh, Fluff Dota but everything will be in the comments all the timestamps will be in the comments Thanks for watching guys and uh, have a good day.